a black transgender pregnant low income artist affected by COVID, you're guaranteed $3,200 a month. Free money. You don't have to pay taxes on it, or it adds up to a little less than 40 grand a year. And that's just from San Francisco. We're not even adding up all the state and federal goodies you can get food stamps, housing vouchers, welfare. We're estimating that you could be making over $50,000 a year living in San Francisco and being vulnerable and doing absolutely no work. So what you just watched was Fox News host Jesse Waters talking about the various programs in San Francisco that help a variety of people to survive. And he spewed it with all kinds of venom. He is somebody that tries to otherize people all the time. He has a lot of nerve. He is a prophet of hate. I mean, he just spews hate. He wants people to watch this show and think somehow that other people are getting more than they're getting or that somehow other people are getting something that they do not deserve on somebody else's back. And if that's the way you want to use your platform, you just need to go and hang it up, brother. You should do that. But anyway, this type of grifting, it gets you the, the, the bucks in the door. So you're gonna keep it going, we know. And let me first remind you, Jesse Waters is one of the highest paid television hosts in the United States. Let's put up uh, this. What is Je Jesse Waters network? Jesse Waters network is 73 million US dollars. Jesse is one of the highest paid television hosts in the United States of America. Jesse is paid over 16 million as, as salary by Fox News. So we see it laid out there plain and simple. And instead of this man being you know, more generous and talk about things that edify and lift, oh no, he must spew hate. And the fact that Fox is paying him to spew this hate makes me makes me scratch my head. So now that we know the facts, let's continue. Jesse was talking about three programs that exist in San Francisco. Here at Unbossed, we're gonna lay down the facts for you. Three programs to help San Francisco citizens make ends meet. Abundant birth project, guaranteed income pilot for artists, and GIFT gift program to help people. Now, Jesse and the Fox News team are set to vilify these programs. We're here to give you the facts about really what these programs are for. So the Abundant Birth Project, this is what it, is, it does. It provides pregnant Black and Pacific Islander women a monthly income supplement for the duration of their pregnancy and during the postpartum period as an economic and reproductive health intervention. So in just in case, Jesse, 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 no, does not know this. And he probably doesn't know this in, the, in his producers, the folks that put together this segment on his behalf do not know. But the mortality rate for black mothers is extraordinarily high in the United States of America. So the maternity, the, the maternal mortality rate for black women is very high. And the infant mortality rate for black baby is high as well. And so the fact that San Francisco is doing something about it to supplement, to help people bring, to help women deliver healthy babies and to be healthy themselves should be a thing to be applauded. But oh no, Jesse No has to try to vilify these people. Now, this is what the mayor has said about the program. Let's put this up. The Abundant Birth Project is rooted in racial justice and recognizes that Black and Pacific Islander mothers suffer disparate health impacts, in part because of the persistent wealth and income gap. Jesse, did you hear that? Let's underline it, fold it, and put that sucker in the message in a bottle and put it on the train all the way to Jesse. Jackson, you know, just to just to use your platform to do things like this, it doesn't make any sense. He must be really a sad, sad little man to quote one of my favorite cartoons. Well, I mean, the bottom line is he he doesn't care. And, you know, for his position, he just kind of goes in and, and reads off the script and does, you know, he I won't point out 16 million a year is a lot. That that that's man. more than a lot of CEOs get. Like, cause CEOs get paid a lot in stock options, but you'll see. I mean, obviously, a lot of CEOs get paid more than that. But you know, maybe ten million, nine million, fourteen, even sixteen. That's a lot of money a year. Yeah. And it really just—he—he's not really like a—he—he's not really a political guy even. 
like you can tell he doesn't really have much passion for it. But the the, the bigger thing is that I really wanted to get at here is that what Fox News and other organizations like that do is they pinpoint these programs that literally impact like 55 people or there are for 135 people. Like one of those programs in particular, only 55 people can get access to that money. So this isn't even like a national thing where it's like, oh, we're, we're just we're just blowing money on all these people all over the United States. Like it's literally it, it's not it, it doesn't affect him or anybody outside of the city. So it's just Fox News is a desperate attempt to, well, really not desperate because it works for their audience. It's just that them doing what works and keeping them focused on non-issues and culture war issues. You know, mm-hmm. it's the bottom line. This that doesn't impact any of the people who watch that show. Not at all. But by the time Jesse is done, he'll have his audience believing that they need to storm the damn torpedoes. You know, the way that he's talking. But that's how they get off at Fox News. Now, since the summer of 2021, the Abundant Birth Project has given $1,000 per month to nearly 150 black pregnant and postpartum people residing in San Francisco. So Jackson, to your point, a very small pool of people, but that money, that help means the world to them. And that makes this a beautiful thing. Now, the Guaranteed Income Pilot for Artists, the YBCA is implementing the San Francisco Guaranteed Income Pilot for Artists for San Francisco artists in communities that have been hit the hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, that's what this is. It provides a monthly cash payment of $1,000 to 130 artists for 18 months, beginning May 2021. So we're making the point. And you know what? I remember at least reading and studying, this reminds me a lot, Jackson, of the great Depression and the WPA project that you know FDR and the Congress implemented to put people back to work, and that was you know a lot of the beautiful murals that we see all across this country came from the WPA project. As we know, some of the last enslaved people died in the in the in the early to mid 1960s. Those some writers who participated in the WPA project went into the South and interviewed some of those folks. And that is the reason why we have so many robust stories that we otherwise would not have because they did not have the benefit of social media to be able to tell their story. So funding artists to do what they do to bring beautiful beauty and majesty to the world is a wonderful thing. Just, I, I mean, how is that hurting them? How is that hurting Jesse? Jesse, no. How does that hurt him? It, it doesn't hurt him, and, and it's just funny too because it's like, you know, people getting like twelve hundred, a thousand dollars a month. Which, what are you really going to do with that, especially in San Francisco? Except, you know, eat a little bit of something and maybe pay a bill or two. That's outrageous. But Jesse Waters getting a sixteen million dollar salary—that's not outrageous. You know, like what is he really doing that's that that's so deserving of that much money? And again, salary, not like, oh, I'm on a contract and I have to deliver this amount. No, it's not it's not performance based. That is his salary. That is what he gets paid no matter okay. what. So, you know, but that's not ridiculous. But they don't care. They yeah. don't care. He don't I mean he talking about they don't deserve hell. He don't deserve that money for doing <laughs> nothing. Right. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. How do you know, Jesse? Jesse, no, you don't know, brother. You just talking out of the side of your mouth is what you are doing. You don't know, but you don't deserve that money that you're getting. We know that for sure. So it's just a distraction as we are laying out in this story. And people have been broken and destroyed, you know, by this pandemic. And folks sometimes forget that even though we might be done with the pandemic, pandemic is definitely not done with us. Let's put up this headline: One in four Bay Area families isn't making enough to live here. New studies show or new study says we know that the cost of living has gone up and in places like San Francisco is it, it is extraordinarily high. How about this? San Francisco has the highest rate of street homelessness in the country and look at that graph, the rate of street homelessness in San Francisco. So Jesse, get a life. No, really. Yeah, Jesse, seriously. Yeah, seriously. He really does <laughs> get a life. He's a hater. How do you hate on poor people like that, Jesse? How do you sleep at night, Jesse? Jesse, no. Well, we know Jackson and I know how you sleep at night because you make sixteen million dollars a year. 
Pretty comfortably. <laughs> yeah, pretty comfortably. We're doing absolutely nothing. 